Hey, El Tigre. I'm at the Crab Rock. Very artistic. Lorenzo's the artist, and we guerrillas are like the crabs. Hard shells? Sharp claws? They fight from the jungle to give birth in the ocean. We fought from the ocean and gave birth to la revolution. See? Si. I got it. Take the footpath up the mountain. Very easy. A guerrilla must be short-footed, like a goat. Goat? I thought we were like a crab. Hello? Pinga. The view from the waterfall was so beautiful. Seeing the wall as it is... What's with you? Oye, Libertad. The view from the waterfall was so beautiful. You got some climbing to do. Looks like the waterfall from El Tigre's photo. Need to get up there. El Tigre, I'm at the waterfall picture. It was taken after a bloody battle. Three days of hiding paid off when a platoon of paratroopers landed right in our kill zone. Planning and patience are guerrillas best friends. So is a handful of grenades. <laughs> The waterfall around red that day. You know, with all the blood. From the soldados we killed. Because it was a lot. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> this will be easy, he says. Be like a goat, he says. Looks so peaceful from up here. Goats. Fucking show offs. Tigre. After the war, that path became a famous hiking trail for sweaty tourists. They'd visit our camp, leave their shit everywhere, take photographs of us like we were animals in a zoo. So, we might have accidentally lit a few dynamite sticks and might have accidentally blocked the trail. Then I might have to accidentally unblock it. Exactly! <laughs>
can really disappear up here. Would make an army blind. How is the air both thick and thin at the same time? Okay, I'm at the next picture. Let me guess. Guerrillas are like sharks. Deadly predators with knives as sharp as teeth. Actually, that rock just looked like a shark. Who's the one dangling underneath it? That's Lucky Mama. We never knew when the soldado would find our camp. So we had to secure fast ways up and even faster ways down. Lucky always volunteered to be the first to test the lines. Brave. I hear you're brave, too. Clara told me about you. Okay, I'm at the next picture. Let me guess. Guerrillas are like sharks. Deadly predators with knives as sharp as teeth. Actually, that rock just looked like a shark. Who's the one dangling underneath it? That's Lucky Mama. We never knew when the Sudal would find our camp. So we had to secure fast ways up and even faster ways down. Lucky always volunteered to be the first to test the lines. Brave. I hear you're brave too. Clara told me about you. You know, I also grew up without a mama or papa. And you still became a legend. <laughs> Many guerrillas are orphans, baby Tigre. But it's not our parents who define us. It's our actions. It's like therapy. El Tigre, I'm at the statue. Ah, Lobo. A revolutionary, a warrior, and a dear friend. Killed in combat when we stormed Esperanza in 67. Yesterday was the anniversary of his death. That explains the hangover. Every year I drink two bottles of rum. One for me, and one for Lobo. He never lived to see a free Yara. To be honest, neither did I. This is the last pick. Felicidades! You're at the top of the world! Now get down here! You're missing all the fun, baby Tigre! El Tigre! What a Danny! What the hell? You're trapped. Death is staring you in the face. What do you do? <laughs> I've been kicked in the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since 72. Never do that again. What? Mi caso su casa, baby Tigre. Come on! Me the family. Lucky, my nose is broke again. I'm not your fucking mother. There are people out there who are actually hurt. I am suffering. I easy, mama. Her piece doesn't count. Meet Lorenzo Canseco, poet of the legends. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. And of course, you know Lucky Mama, heart of the legends. It's not broken. Really? I felt it go crazy. Merda! Another patient? Hmm. Looks like La Morale to me. I'm Dani Rojas from Libertad. The new fist of the revolution. No, Clara sent me. Libertad needs the legends on our side, heroes to believe in. To fight another Castillo? He's exactly what Yara deserves. Buena suerte. Sorry, one revolution was enough. Looks like Clara was wrong. Have faith, Danny. They just need to get to know you. Come see me when you get settled. My baby Tigre.
That needs our help? They're even more desperate. Than we thought. All revolutions Come are here. desperate. Thank no you more. Much. Okay. If we want these cranky old guerrillas to help Libertad, we need Lucky and Lorenzo on board. So here's what we're going to do. Ever since Anton got obsessed with the cancer drugs and making Viviro, finding medical supplies for Lucky's clinic has been impossible. So I bribed a pilot to fly some in. When the supplies arrive, we tell Lucky they're a gift from Libertad, and boom, everybody's friends. Perfect plan, right? Well, it would have been if some hijo de puta didn't shoot down my chopper. Go get those supplies before someone else does, baby tigre. Remember the three guerrilla pinsmiths? Always be moved. Looks like they drop. What a mess. This is too easy. Que vola! Who are you? We're la moral. And the leste is our land. Our land, our medicine. You practice that little speech? Yeah. This is property of Libertad. Ah, Libertad. Knew you would come begging for our help. We should be fighting Castillo together. I'm Honron, second in command. Tres, cuatro. Nice throw. Name's Danny, Danny Rojas. Uh-huh. Company! Over there, by the chopper! Batter up.
You've got talent, Libertad. But Yelena needs these supplies. We got wounded. Yelena's your boss? Yeah. She's gonna kick my ass if I don't come back with something. Well, Clara's gonna try to kick mine if I don't bring these to the legends. Libertad wants the legends of 67? <laughs> half of Yara things are dead. Oh, they're very alive. And half of La Moral things are full of shit. But I majored in history. They paid him blood to put Anton's papa in his grave. I'll tell you what. You give me these supplies, I'll introduce you. Ah, coño. Yelena's gonna kill me. But at least I got to meet the legends first. Now, Danny, you get us a chopper? Then we can talk supplies. Welcome to La Moral. Libertad. Whatever. Do everyone a favor and destroy it. It's next to an old Spanish military tower along the western coast. That was crazy! I can't believe we survived! Hostages. You're not underneath when I shoot it down.
Danny, you got the supply. <gasps> Pala pinga! El tigre! Feast of the revolution! You gotta sign my pants. Como se llama, señorita? Honron. Eh. I'm with La Moral. La Moral? Terroristas. Honron, this is Lorraine. I know who he is. I think the word he's looking for is guerrilla. You're not guerrillas. You're a street gang. At least we're not hiding on the mountain while the world goes to shit. Have you seen what's going on down there? Go, check out a Bio Vida facility. I dare you. The legends don't take orders from anarchists. Entiende? Enough, Lorenzo. No, you know what? Fuck you. La Moral is keeping these supplies. This is our revolution, not yours. A farmer got caught in the crossfire today. Took a bullet in the stomach. Without this, he won't make it to tomorrow. Lucky mama. A lot of the bullets I pull are from La Moral. There is a difference between playing with guns and fighting La Revolution. El Tigre. Sí. They're big on lectures. If these abuelos want to live in the museum, whatever. I can leave Puerta. Or maybe I borrow some souvenirs. Talk to me when you got a minute. Is one of the best baseball players Yara has ever seen. Those medical supplies will put a lot of guerrillas back together. Gracias. Lucky appreciates them, too. Even if she doesn't show it. And bringing La Morale was smart. This camp needs young blood. Shakes things up. Now we need to work on Lorenzo. Half the abuelos out there hang on his every word. Honron said Lorenzo should visit a BioVira facility. But getting Lorenzo to do anything is like pulling a tank through the mud. Sideways. I'm going to give him a little reminder of what we stood for. And you are going to bring the Bio Vida to him. All you got to do is tiptoe in, take photographs of anything suspicious, and get out. For a so-called research facility, they have way more guns than lab coats down there. They're hiding something, baby Tigre. And we're going to slap Lorenzo in the face with whatever it is. What do you mean? Hope you have good camera skills. What do you kids say? No filter?
for very long. But his company supplies the chemical POV that needs. For now. You sound like each of you owes El Presidente. Not at all. The clean air, the food on your tables, the houses you live in, your education. Presidente Castillo has pulled this country from ruin and is putting us on a course to a brighter future. A good member of the military should ask the following question every day. Have I done enough to deserve what Presidente Castillo has handed to me and my country? Anyone who questions Presidente Castillo is not a true yara. His dream of a brighter future must not be slowed down by people who question for question's sake. You are either with us or against us. Sounds came from in there. I've got a bad feeling about this place. All of this bullshit about treating cancer. What are they doing to these people? Sonia. They're using humans like rats. What are they testing? Castillo's not going to get away with this. I need more pigs. look like cages but or what these people are sick really sick pinga that must be gabriella pinga what the fuck are they doing to these poor people i need more pigs is this what they are doing to all the outcasts Disable the alarm. Remember that any Yara citizen can bring a list at your local military office. Bring glory to your family and light to your future by serving in Yara's military.
There's something under the water. What the fuck is in the lake? Finger. So many. Al carajo. So many dead bodies in the water. Need to take a picture for Lorenzo. This should be enough to convince Lorenzo. We were just kids, El Tigre. <laughs> <laughs> Lorenzo, I took pictures of that place Juan Ron was talking about. You swipe to the left. They look free to you. Mierda. This is what Libertad and La Moral are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste. That's the end. Shoot the tree. <laughs> 